Now, another, another throw we can do just so we have uh, something else to go home with. From here, from an underhook position, if I want to do a reverse head and arm, which is this move here, okay? For me to set that up on a good wrestler, if I get this position, he's going to have, he's gonna have his, his hip in here. He's not going to just let me turn my hip in, inside this. So I have, to, I have to set him up so that I can get my hip in. So one way I could set him up is by faking to the body. So I'm here, I come to the body. Okay, so just once again. So I'm here, he's, he's either got his head down or he's got his hip, he's definitely gonna have his hip in here. So from here, I can't just step here because as I step there, he's gonna pull me backwards. Okay, so, so for me to get my hip in, I'm gonna come to here and then my hands just come, okay? And so once again, this is a pure technique of the move. Once I've got, once I get his hips back and I step to here, I'm just, I'm just pulling him across, I'm loading him onto my hip here, and I'm just pulling him across the front of me here. Okay, so we get this, we get the underhook. I fake for the body. And just out of interest, the same thing works. If I have an underhook, put my head's on this side, okay? So my head on the, the reverse head and arm, my head was on this side. If my, head, my head's on this side, and I think for the body, now I can come for the, the other head and arm. Okay, so I have an underhook, heads, heads to the side of the underhook. I fake to the body, I do a reverse head and arm. In my head, if I have an underhook, but it's in the other side of the underhook, I fake to the body, and I can do a normal head. Okay? Let's try that, and that'll, that'll be it for the clinic, and we're going to do some wrestling.